a little thing on vertex groups and hooks in Blender. As an example, I'm going to use cloth. So I've got a very simple scene here with a floor and a cube and a grid. And that grid is going to be my piece of cloth. So I'm going to do my physics. I'm going to make a piece of cloth. I'm going to turn on silk, maybe. And on the floor and the cube, there's already collision. So if I now play this scene, you'll see that the thing behaves as cloth. Now I want to make the back row of vertices here stick. You can, in the cloth settings, let's go down in the shape, pin certain vertices, but for that you have to have a group, a vertex group. This object does not have vertex groups yet, so we need to make a vertex group. Let's select the object and go into edit mode. Hitting tab. I want to get this back row here. The easiest way to do that is to go into edge mode and then with Alt pressed select the entire row. That will automatically select the points as well. So these points I want in my vertex group. Vertex groups live in the data section of the properties. Here on top, you see this is grid 001, which is a brilliant name for a piece of cloth. There are no vertex groups. So let me add a vertex group. It's my vertex group. I can name it anything I want. So this is going to be stay stuck, because that's what I want those things to do. And now I can assign the selected vertices to that vertex group. So now those vertices are in my vertex group as I hit assign here. And if I now deselect everything and I say select, you'll see that those vertices are selected. I've got my vertex group now. Now let's, in my physics cloth tab, I need to leave the edit mode for that. In my cloth tab, let's scroll down to the shape. Now I can say these are my stay stuck vertices. And if I play the animation now or the scene, you'll see that the back row of vertices is stuck. Now it would be really nice if we could also manipulate that row of vertices. To manipulate um, vertices, you can attach a hook to them. Back in edit mode, those vertices are still selected. If they're no longer selected, you can go into your data and select the vertices that are part of the stay stuck group. What you can then do is go to vertex, hooks, hook to new object. If you already have an object, you can hook it to that one. But I hook it to new object, which means it's now hooked to the empty. Let's leave edit mode, hitting tab. If I now move that empty, the points go with. The one thing that is specific about this kind of hook with a cloth is that on cloth, you need to make sure that the hook modifier actually comes before the cloth. Then you can actually take the thing and move it about and the cloth will come with. So I created this vertex group by assigning the selected points to it. You can also go into weight paint mode and you'll see that these are actually red, so I have a weight of 1 in this vertex group. All the other points are part of your vertex group, they just have been assigned a value of 0. And you can 
actually paint values as well, which gets very important when you get to weight painting. So now, of course, I should technically leave edit mode before I do that and go back to object mode. All those points are also stuck because I painted them as one and they are now part of the vertex group. Let me go into weight paint once more and take them out of the vertex group and you'll see that it behaves as before. So you can assign vertices to a vertex group in edit mode by hitting the assign button. If you prefer, you can also weight paint them. For this particular pin action, any weight means they're part of the vertex group. 